over in Harrison, Arkansas, a gun store owner was literally trying to refuse service to an individual who has a Black Lives Matter face mask on him. Let's let's talk about this. So, in theory, I just want to I just want to go off and say this right here right now because you know, it's, I I've seen the original video uh talking about it and and it makes me want to think that like literally the video itself basically was assuming that the that the gun store owner happened to be racist but apparently the title of the video and the vid was literally taken out of context because literally I didn't see anything racist about it whatsoever I will have the video link in the description below um, so you can check it out for yourself and then you could come back here and tell me what you think but along with the show I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go out right here the the gun owner was deliberately saying this you know he was literally telling telling the supposed customer uh what the what the black lives matter organization is really about you know this had nothing to do with racism whatsoever now i will say this i'm also going to record to say this that black lives matter was always a marxist group a racist organization ever since the day it was implemented you know it's controlled by this fucker named George Soros, you know, who literally has gotten away with a whole bunch of shit. And I will also go on the record and say this, that um, literally I've been saying this for a while. The organization Black Lives Matter, or let me reiterate it to Black Lies Matter has always been an organization where they think cops are a danger to black people, which that was never the case whatsoever. It was always about an anti-police society, which unfortunately, I'm afraid is starting to come full force thanks to the Democrats in Congress, but I am getting off subject right here. Again, I'm going to say this right here. Well, the now the store owner obviously makes a point talking about how Black Lives Matter is a racist organization, and the problem. And I will say this now, both the both the owner and the customer, they were just having a in a reasonable conversation. It was not like, you know, going completely all out in left field where it got really it got really out of hand. But the person who uh, obviously recorded, which I believe it had to be a white liberal or something like that, you know, was trying to take up for the guy wearing the BLM face mask. I mean, and I'm going to tell you this, you know, like I said before, you know, white liberals are literally only in it for themselves when it comes to that particular subject matter. I mean, because here's the thing, white liberals, if you think black, if you think black lives matter, go protest in the ghetto, straight up. But I am literally, I'm going to say this right here. I take sides with the gun store owner. 
Why do I say that? Because he's been right on every point what he made. I mean, and it's like, and I will also, I also side with the independent gun store owner. And why is that? It's literally because, you know, as a, you know, as literally is because he has the right to refuse service to anyone. Now, now here's the thing. But I, on the contrary, I will also say this too. Like, I was at the, I was at the dollar store uh, the other day. And, you know, I was about to, I was literally buying, like, a couple of things for my apartment and literally buy, buying, like, a couple of energy drinks so I could stay because I was literally working a 12-hour shift for the night before I went to work. I mean, I saw, I saw a fellow black lady wearing a Black Lives Matter, um, face mask, and I myself was wearing a thin blue line, um, um, thin blue line flag face mask, you know, representing that I support law enforcement, and, you know, her and, her and I were literally having a reasonable conversation, you know, even though we disagreed on what what both of what both of us were saying, you know, it was really calm, it was really collect, you know, and you know we didn't have any, you know, we didn't give anybody trouble. We just, we just, uh, we just respected each other of what we were wearing. I mean, I mean, like straight up. But I will say this, you know, I I will say this right here. Um, I do believe in one thing and one thing only. You know, sometimes, you know, it's at certain places, politics need to be left outside. You know, because lately, I will say this, everybody on the left, especially Black Lives Matter and Antifa, were, has been literally on a real, I mean, has been really hostile. On a lot of things, and the way how I would dis the way how I would see this video, uh, as a whole, because I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you some real truth right here. This is obviously no different than, say, all of these leftists or any any business owner who happens to be a left-wing business owner would tell people who wear Trump apparel like the MAGA hats for a prime example that they're not welcome. This is obviously no different. I mean, and if it's supposedly a racist act, this is obviously no different than Kerosene Maxine, aka Maxine Waters, you know, telling her supporters that if she see if they see Trump and Republicans out and about, like at X, I mean at whatever places they go to, like you know a bar or a quote unquote gasoline station, as as she called it, which I find very funny she calls it that. But anyway, she was say, you know, she was saying that they want they want Trump and Republicans being out of though you know x places in particular so if this was a racist act what the gun store the gun store owner did um obviously it's no different obviously it's no different but at the exact same time um i do agree with what the gun store owner was saying regarding the black lives matter movement i mean or let alone organization. Now I'm pretty sure the owner of the owner would would obviously believe Black Lives do matter. I mean, I'm I'm gonna tell you this right here. As a black person, you know, I believe Black Lives matter. 
But I believe all lives matter. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, blue, green, or orange. You know, I'm just saying. We need to we need to cut the divisive garbage because I'm very sick and tired of hearing about this and you know all it's going to do is just drive race relations in this nation and possibly around the world into the fucking ground I'm just saying but that's all I have to say the link of the link to the video is going to be in the description of, below and I'm Chuck Johnson aka Kid Thunder I am signing off. You guys have a wonderful day.